Hello, and welcome to another SysNav training video. In this video, we're going to take a look at the design files element in the SysNav app. The powerful thing about design files is that they can be created and edited offline without being connected to an active system. System designs include inventory items and DSP settings for arrays and loudspeakers, and can be created, saved, recalled, and applied to physical devices once reconciled. System designs can also be easily shared or transferred between multiple devices. Let's get into it and take a look at how all this works. You can access the design files menu from the home screen, from the drop down menu in the upper left corner, or at any time by pressing the name of the current scene in the upper right hand corner. On the design files menu, you have options to create and save designs, recall designs, or delete designs. To start a completely new design, simply press or click new within the design files menu. Enter a name for your design, then tap or click create. Your new design will be created and saved, and the name of the design will be displayed in the upper right hand corner of the screen. You can now configure the design based on the system that it will eventually connect to. Start by adding items to your inventory and assigning names. For more information on the inventory feature and how to use it, go ahead and check out our dedicated SysNav inventory training video. I highly recommend you go check it out. Maybe before you finish this one. Go ahead. No, I'll, I'll wait. Go. N now. No, go ahead, pause this one, go watch that one. Okay. After every change made within the design, a message will appear in red within the design name field that says unsaved changes. In order to save the changes to the design, click or tap here to bring up the design files window and press the save button. Once you've built your system in the inventory, you can apply DSP to the arrays and loudspeakers in the design that will be applied once the system is connected and reconciled. Navigate to the Control List View screen by selecting the menu in the upper left corner and pressing or clicking Control List View. Because you're in an offline state, the arrays and loudspeakers will appear on the screen with a yellow warning symbol. This is simply indicating that the array design is offline. Once connected and reconciled, these symbols return into green check marks. Now, if we want to, we can apply some DSP to the system. In SysNav, we have a six band parametric EQ with high and low pass filters, time delay, and high frequency array shading that can all be saved within a system design file. We'll cover these features in more detail in another video. After making any changes, we'll go in and save the design to lock those in. If you have a design that you'd like to use as a starting point, but need to make changes without affecting the original settings of the design, you can use the save as function. We'll first recall the design we want to start with. On the Design Files menu, select the desired design from the list and press Recall to load the design. Now press the Save As button and give the design a new name. Once saved, make the desired changes and simply save the design when you're done. Now let's take a look at where these designs are saved on a device and how to transfer them between devices. On an iPad, the design files are saved and recalled locally within the storage of the iPad itself. When SysNav is installed on the device, a folder is automatically created within the file structure of the iPad. To find this, exit SysNav and open the Files app. Within Files, tap On My iPad. There will be a folder called System Navigator. Within the System Navigator folder will be a number of additional folders, including a folder called Designs. This is where the designs are stored. Every time a new design is created, it will be added to this folder. When you recall a design within SysNav, the Design Files menu will display any available designs that are within this folder. Also, since we're here, within the System Navigator folder is a folder called AIM. This is where AIM models are saved as well. You can access this folder to transfer and import AIM model files the same way as you do for design files. To transfer any of these to another device, tap the Select option, which allows us to select any number of items in this folder at a time. Once selected, press the Share button, and a number of methods for sharing the selected items will be displayed, including email, messaging, or airdrop. If you are transferring designs between different iPads, the fastest and simplest way is to use the Apple AirDrop feature between the devices. To do this, make sure that the AirDrop feature is enabled on both devices. Select the design or designs you want to transfer from the sending device, and choose the AirDrop option in the Share function. You should see a menu with any and all nearby devices detected by AirDrop. Select the intended recipient from the list and press send. 
the receiving device will need to accept the transfer on that end. Once accepted, you will be prompted to select where to save the transferred content. Choose your device, then navigate to the proper designs folder in the file structure. Press save and the file or files will be transferred directly to the appropriate folder. Now, launch SysNav and open the Design Files menu, and your newly transferred designs will be available to recall. You can also choose to email design files. To do this, select the design files you wish to transfer and press Share. In the Share function, choose the Email option, which will open a new email from the default email address associated with the sending iPad with the design files already attached. From here, it's just sending an email. Add your recipient address and subject line, maybe a note if applicable, then press Send. That's it. If you are receiving an email on your device, here's how to save the design files into the correct location. Open the email app and locate the email containing the design files. Open the email and select the design you want to import. You have similar options to the share function when sending design files. Choose Save to Files. This will open the file structure on the iPad. Navigate to the designated folder and press Save. The design will be imported and available to recall the next time SysNav is launched on that device. Now let's take a look at saved files on a PC and how transferring files that way works. Similar to an iPad, when SysNav is installed onto a PC, a set of folders are automatically created within the file structure of the PC's system. When designs are created and saved in SysNav, these designs are saved to one of those folders. This folder can be located by first opening a folder window and selecting the Documents tab. In the Documents folder will be a folder labeled QSC. Within this folder will be a folder labeled System Navigator. You may have other folders here as well, depending on any other QSC software you may have installed. Open the System Navigator folder, and there will be multiple folders within it, just like the folders created on an iPad. As you may have guessed, the design files are housed within the folder labeled Design. From the Design folder, the design files can be selected and attached to email or copied directly onto a USB storage device. To load designs from another device, simply add them into this folder. When SysNav is launched next, any new designs within the folder will be available to recall. Once a design is created, reconciled, and saved, the system can be powered on and off, and as long as no changes have been made to the physical array or the design within SysNav, the system will come back online and will not need to be reconciled or optimized further. If changes are made and the system is booted up in a state other than it was when last powered down, you may need to redo the reconciliation process. If a system is brought online and the design file running in SysNav is not the correct design saved with the connected hardware configuration, you can either make the appropriate changes and re-reconcile the new configuration, or simply recall the proper design for the connected arrays, and the system will automatically sync up. For more information on that, you can check out our SysNav inventory training video. And that takes us through the end of the design files feature in System Navigator. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Thank you.